All right, what's going on, guys? Brock here. No secret. Ton of stuff going down today online for Call of Duty news and the trailer reveal and everything. And I just kind of wanted to give you guys my opinion on it. I know there's like black and white, left side, right side type of uh, opinions online. And I feel like there's nothing that's really down the middle. For example, like T. Martin, Trevor, I, I wouldn't say he's like 100% on the... Call of Duty is going to be great, but I feel like he's on the optimistic side. Like, he stays, you know, pretty optimistic that it's going to be good. On the other hand, you have White Boy, who's made COD great again, that social justice warrior, and he goes hard that, like, this sucks, kind of, is the vibe I get from him. And, uh, you know, there's nothing really right down the middle, and that's just kind of honestly how I feel right now. Like, it's how I've always felt before games come out. Um, I don't, I tend not to, like, develop a strong opinion until after after I played it so maybe I'm thinking that's what we need right now I'm thinking that's what some of you might need is that middle ground like just somebody level-headed like let's keep this chill guys we don't have enough information yet some of you may have seen the boost jump in the trailer I was okay so I was trying to get the video for the trailers for you guys so I could include it in this video but like I don't ever do these types of videos I'm a noob I couldn't get the stupid um VOD off the Call of Duty Twitch channel to download correctly. It was being weird. So if you guys do enjoy these videos, though, I'll definitely figure it out for the future. But I just wanted to kind of see what reaction we get from me doing this type of video. But anyway, back to the topic on hand. Infinite Warfare, we saw this boost jump and in the trailer. And I'm thinking that's a pretty clear-cut you know, sign that this is not going to be boots on the ground. It, Who knows? It could be... Advanced Warfare? It could be Black Ops 3. Nobody knows. Nobody knows. It's a guessing game at this point. Everyone's saying, oh, it's not going to be Advanced Warfare. They, they think, but no one knows. No one has any idea. So you guys have to keep an open mind. Because, yes, there was boost jumping in that thing. But we don't know what that means for, for right now. With that being said, I thought the Black Ops 3 movement system was great. People are really kind of going crazy for this boots on the ground stuff. But when you really get it and play it, I don't know if people would be as pumped about it as they're talking about. Because Black Ops 3 was perfect. Advanced Warfare was too much. Black Ops 3 has been great. Okay, I've been loving Black Ops 3. The movement system is that perfect middle ground. I mean, it's a, it's still not the, the traditional Call of Duty, but it's it's okay. Um, another thing I saw was that spaceship type stuff. In the trailer and, and like that i can do without that is trash okay the settings that they've been picking are terrible well this black ops 3 was fine but like advanced warfare and now this what in the hell are they thinking this isn't star trek like they are in space this is like call of duty is the nitty-gritty like you're in the sand you're in like rugged you know broken down cities and stuff battling on the ground i don't want to be flying around in a in a jet or, what, or some crazy spaceship. Like, that's just stupid, in my opinion. But anyway. My opinion on the whole COD 4 Remastered thing is they did it as a safety net. They did it as a backup plan. Because Infinite Warfare could absolutely suck. Okay? But because of this Modern Warfare Remastered, their sales are going to be great anyway. And, you know, they made it pretty clear with the supply drops and everything as of late that money's important to them i mean it's a business which i totally get who doesn't want more money you know but ah they're just it used to be something more pure i think the game was that's just my opinion but anyway it's kind of uh call of duty modern warfare 4 it's one on one hand yes it is trying to please the community and i appreciate that and it's gonna be awesome on the other hand I do think it's a safety net for them because I don't know if you're going to be able to buy COD 4 Remastered solo, like by itself. I, I'm not sure. We I, we're, That sounds unclear at this point from what I've seen. So I think it's a safety net because my guess is that they're not going to allow it to be sold separately, that you're going to have to do an infinite warfare so that their sales and they make more money. That's just my guess. We don't know for sure. But anyway, these screenshots... I've seen on COD 4 Remastered look amazing, you know, and recently I think the most recent game I can think of was Master Chief Collection for Halo Remastered. That game, they had some 
terrible matchmaking issues with that game. But, like, as far as the graphics and the remade, you know, remake stuff goes, wow. The graphics and everything were great. I'm thinking this is going to be the same thing. So I am excited for that. Um, but yeah, that's just kind of my opinion. I don't know. I'm not going to really form a strong one either way as of right now. I do know that I don't like the setting for Infinite Warfare. I do know that. That's one thing I can confirm. Um, oh man, we just gotta wait and see, guys. We need more information. That's all there is to it. Anyway, let me know if you guys like these type of videos for me. I know it's something a little different, but I feel like, you know, it's something I needed to cover and talk about. So I hope you guys enjoyed. You know, our opinions could probably differ here, so let me know in the, in the comments below what you're thinking. It's totally... Totally cool if you don't agree with me. And uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you, you enjoyed, and I'll see you later.